Hey guys, you're welcome to our channel and today I'll be taking you on how to prepare a goosey soup my way. Only and um, to show you guys that yes, guys can and they actually do cook. So you guys should follow me to the kitchen. Let's go see how Ready. I do All it. Right. Tomato paste. Okay, what this is my mix of pepper, onions and little tomatoes. This consists of more of pepper because I'm that type of person that likes that. You know, that's I know flavor. you know. I you like pepper a lot. So that I'm looking up. But I can't stop eating it. Oh Don't my worry. god, yeah, I can't it. wait for it, bro. <laughs> So first off is our stockfish, which I feel like is a main ingredient in preparing the goosey soup. And these are our other ingredients that we'll be using to make this amazing and delicious soup today. So this is our dry prawns. And you can see that I like that in my goosey soup, so I'll be adding that today. Then also our crayfish, because that goes well in goosey soup and basically every other soup. We also have our seasoning cubes. Uh, palm oil yeah our palm oil uh, it blended the goosey yeah you can look at it our blended goosey our salt to taste our tomato paste which mainly consists of me of mainly pepper because yeah that's how I prepare my greasy then also our freshly chopped pumpkin leaf also known as ugu and our onions and our locust beans also known as iru so this is our beef and that's what we'll be using to prepare our goosey soup today you can use any other meats or yeah you can use any other meat of your choice so let's get cooking so this is our beef and this is how we spice our beef in order to get the stock for the goosey soup so we added our onions our seasoning cubes and a little pepper to give it that you know that extra flavor and all that Yes, our seasoning cubes and little thyme and the rest. So we mix them to combine so that the sauce will get into it and to bring out the juicy stock that we want to make our soup amazing. So we leave it cover for like 10 minutes. Then we add a little water after that. You can cook this for 30 minutes or until it's soft enough for you. Then when you're almost done, you add your stockfish so that your stockfish won't be too soft while you add it into your soup. So yeah, that's our meat boiling, bringing out that juicy stock. So this is me checking whether it's soft enough and yes, it's soft enough. So I've already added my palm oil and I didn't bleach it. I allowed it to get hot for a while, then I'm adding my onions to it to give it that flavor. And I've also added my locust beans because I like the flavor it adds to a goosey soup and I think it really goes well with it. So I'll advise you to try it, but it's totally personal. So yes, we stir for five minutes, stir. Then after stirring, we add our tomato paste. When we add our tomato paste, we stir for a while and allow it to fry for a while. And we add our crayfish to the blend of tomato paste and our palm oil. We add our crayfish. Yes, we stir. We can see from this, it's already looking amazing. So imagine when we now add our igusi, our blended igusi to this mix. Yes, we stir. We stir for a while. 
and now we add our beef to the mix i prefer adding my beef now so that you know the mix will get into the beef and it will have the flavor of the soup that's why i rather add my beef now rather than at the end when i'm done remember if this is new to you this is my way so i'll love it if you try it out then you can add your prawns to the mix and also stir well so that it's the sauce will get into it yes we mix 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 And we allow it, we cover it for five minutes and allow it to cook for a while. After that, we add our igusi to the mix bit by bit. We don't add it all at once, we add it bit by bit and stir as we add. Yeah, so now you can see me as I'm adding my igusi. As I add, I stir. Yes, we stir. Stir for a while until you're done adding the amount of igusi you want. I'm not cooking so much, so that's all I'll be adding for today. Then after that, we allow it to cook for a while. Then we add our beef stock. That's why it's very important to make sure your stock is nice enough or has a lot of flavors because that's like the main taste of your soup. So now we add our beef stock and we stir for a while. We stir and make sure that gets into it. So now, if the soup is thick enough, we can leave it like this. But if you feel like it's not thick enough, you can still decide to add water it's your choice so we add more crayfish to taste to your taste actually if you like crayfish in your soup then you can add it to taste whoa and now we add our pumpkin leaf that's our ugu our chopped ugu leaf we add it then after we've added that we mix it to combine and we usually add this close to when we're done with the soup so that the leaves won't be too soft or so that they won't overcook so this is our soup our soup is ready and i'm sure this soup looks yummy too to you because it looks yummy to me and i know it's yummy i wish you guys were here to taste it but i'm sure after watching this video you'll try yours so thanks so much for sticking with us don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So stay safe, stay connected.